Have you ever pondered what it took to bring an end to the World War I? A significant part of the answer lies in an ambitious blueprint for peace, Woodrow Wilson's 14-point plan. Woodrow Wilson, the 28th President of the United States, had a grand vision for a world emerging from the ashes of the Great War. In 1918, he proposed his 14-point plan as a foundation for peace negotiations. The first point calls for open diplomacy, a public agreement rather than secret treaties. This was intended to promote transparency and trust among nations. Point two advocates for freedom of navigation upon the seas, outside territorial waters, in peace and in war, barring any international action for enforcing international obligations. This was a significant move towards establishing international norms and laws. The third point suggests the removal, as far as possible, of all economic barriers and the establishment of equality of trade conditions among all the nations consenting to peace and associating themselves for its maintenance. This was a clear call for free trade and economic cooperation among nations. Point four, interestingly, calls for adequate guarantees given and taken that national armaments will be reduced to the lowest point consistent with domestic safety. This was Wilson's attempt to limit the militarization that had led to World War I. The next five points, from five to nine, deal with specific territorial issues and disputes arising from the war. They propose the adjustment of colonial claims, respecting the interests of the populations concerned, and the right of self-determination. Point 10 calls for the freest diplomatic discussions regarding the sovereignty of Russia. This was a significant point, considering the political upheavals happening in Russia at the time. Points 11 to 13 continue to address specific territorial adjustments, emphasizing the principle of self-determination and political independence. The final and perhaps the most significant point, the 14th, proposes the establishment of a general association of nations, which later became the League of Nations. This was envisioned as a platform for nations to resolve international disputes peacefully and prevent future wars. Despite its noble intentions, Wilson's 14-point plan faced opposition and challenges during the peace negotiations at the Treaty of Versailles. However, it played a crucial role in shaping the post-World War I world order. In summary, Woodrow Wilson's 14-point plan was a visionary attempt to prevent future conflicts and foster global stability. It dealt with open diplomacy, free trade, self-determination, and the establishment of a global platform for peaceful conflict resolution. Despite its challenges, it has left a lasting legacy on international relations. So the next time you think about World War I, remember the 14-point plan, a vision of peace that emerged from the ashes of war. Until the next historical adventure, stay curious and keep exploring the past.